Everybody, welcome to Make Movies Now. My name is Charles. I'm your host, and today we're gonna learn five fixes, tips, and tricks on how to get the media offline render job fail taken care of. So, if you like what you see, make sure to like button below, subscribe if you want some more content, drop a comment in the comment section below. Let me know if it works, and uh, if it didn't work, please let me know as well. These are five reasons I found that have helped me, or other reasons online. I just want to share as much as I could. A plethora of information out there on uh, why media offline keeps popping up. So let's dive into DaVinci. Now, the first thing you're getting wrong is you're not linking the video or the pictures into DaVinci Resolve the right way. So DaVinci Resolve doesn't have a saved copy of the file in the software. What it does is it's got a roadmap back into where you put the file in the computer. And once you move that file to a different file, or if you rename the file, DaVinci Resolve is not going to know where to find it. So what you need to do is got to relink that media back to where you moved it, and that's just fine. So we'll show how to do that right now. Relink the video audio here in DaVinci Resolve. You're going to go. In, you're going to click on the media offline. You're going to right click on it, and then you're going to click on where it says uh, Relink Selected Clips. Click on that. Find where you found the file folder back on the desktop or a new file or wherever. Click select folder, and boom. Number two. Uh, number two reason is that you've got Apple products or GoPro products and they don't work that well. In fact, you may have a wrong codec. So Apple and GoPro, they will uh, record an H.265 Vintage Resolve only shows an H.264, so there's a problem there. So what you can do is you gotta download a new codec from the Windows Play Store, or if you want, you can use a different recording method, like a screenshot to record it, and then convert it into MP4 format. Either one works, I use both. I've got the Windows app, as well as OBS system that I use, so depending on the project, I'll use both of them, but that's the other problem, is that you get the wrong codec. That's number two. Number three. Your computer is rendering or running too fast. So if you go over here to the Deliver tab or the Render tab, on the left, under File, if you look at the bottom here, it's gonna show you the render speed. The default is maximum. Now if you change the render speed, it's gonna render slower, but it won't trip up on all these different frames you might have. So the problem is your computer might just trying to run as fast as it can, trips up on a couple frames, and so you're gonna get the random media offline screen that you're gonna see right now, right now. And so to get rid of that, your computer try to render it at a slower speed. Heads up, if you do use a slower speed, the rendering process will take longer, but that might be a fix for the rendering problems that you're having. Another thing within the Deliver tab, kind of piggyback off of number three here, is if you go to the top, there's three dots that you're looking for. There could be updates that are happening while you're rendering. So in order to, again, free up the space on the software, you can click on off, and then that might be another solution fix within the Deliver tab as well. Number four. The reason that you're getting the media offline is that you've got too many awesome clips. You're using fusion clips, you're using cool text clips, and it's not fully cached in the system. So what you're gonna do to solve that problem you go back into edit page and you're going to change the caching when it comes to those clips that you have. So to do that, go to the top, you're going to click on playback and then you're going to go to render cache. User is probably the default. You're going to want to click on smart and then when the video has been fully cached into the resolve, you're going to see the color change right there on the edit page that you know that that clip is fully done, fully cached and ready to go into the deliver tab. That would be number four. Number five is that you just got the wrong software. So in DaVinci Resolve, you can go to the top left, go to uh, preferences here, and you can search for or look for a newer version in DaVinci Resolve. They're always putting together new versions of it, so you might just have an old version. Some bug might have been fixed. So just go in there and fix that. Um, the other thing is that you're using the wrong software, as I mentioned before. Maybe you're using... 
I was using a bad screen recorder before, so I got some of those media offlines prior, but now that I've been using OBS, all that's been resolved. And when you use OBS, I use a little bit higher frame rate. I don't know why it works, but that's one other thing that I've been using is just a different screen recording system. That's number five. And bonus, if you have to get your project rendered, delivered, sent, just keeps tripping up, you can un click the box that says stop render when a media offline shows or a frame can't be processed. Take rid of that box, that might be resolution as well. We're gonna throw one more in there just for final keepsake. One more reason you might be getting the media offline or the job render fail, or, or, or a fix I should say, is decode. Again, DaVinci Resolve, preferences at the top, you're gonna to click on system, gonna to go to decode options, all those boxes you're gonna uncheck. Now, heads up, I don't know what it does. <laughs> it's an answer or a solution online. So, just be mindful of it. So those are the five plus reasons that I've got for you. Again, if it worked, make sure you to comment in the comment section below. Like if you like what you saw today. Subscribe if you want some more content and share. Thanks for watching. See you next time. So Apple and Grill, <laughs>